Adventurer K-7, former United States secret agent who operated in 22 countries, on land, on sea, and in the air, brings you a story of today. We take you to secret agent K-7's headquarters. This is K-7 speaking. Send in special agent B-9 for assignment. At once, K-7. Special Agent B-9 reporting for assignment. B-9, this is a counterfeiting case. We have been brought to this country by a certain high-ranking official to supplement the police activity. Every big city in this nation has been flooded with bad money. The evidence collected so far points to this city as the distribution center. However, the police have been unable to trace the money's origin. To me, that suggests that perhaps it is being printed outside this country's border and smuggled in. Here are the records containing all known facts. Contact the local police, but follow our own methods. Keep me informed. After B-9 was assigned to the case, he was called by the police, whom he had contacted immediately. Hello? Yes, this is Special Agent B-9 speaking. What's that? A man was arrested early this evening carrying a package of the bills. You're holding it. Yes, I'll be right down. Thank you for calling me. What was it, B-9? It may be our first break. As soon as K-7 assigned me to this case, I had a frank talk with the local police. I told them that we suspected the counterfeit money might be smuggled into this country. They've just arrested a man who was carrying a package of the bills on his person. They called me because he's a foreigner. Come on, Rita. We're going to the police station. A few minutes later, B-9 questioned the prisoner. What's your name? Hardler. Max Adler. How long have you been in this country? Two years. I suppose you don't know this money you had was counterfeit. I don't know anything about it. A man gave it to me to deliver. He told me I should give it to a man in a black car in front of the place where I was arrested. Where did you get the bill you tried to pass? It was the one they paid me for delivering the package. They gave you that much money to deliver a package? Yes. Who was the man who hired you? I don't know. I never saw him before. He came up to me and asked me if I wanted to make some money. So you don't know the name of the man who gave you the package of money or the name of the man you were delivered it to? I told you. I said the man would be waiting in a black car. What did the man who hired you look like? You must have seen him. He, he was tall and he, he had light hair and that's all I remember. You have a very convenient memory, haven't you, Max? I don't know what you mean. Never mind. You can go. You mean I'm free? No. Not until you tell the truth. You will find a police officer waiting outside that door. Now, get out. I don't know anything more. I've told you everything. Right out that door there. Uh, Go on. He might be telling the truth, B-9. Will you question him again tomorrow? No, Rita. Tomorrow he'll be taken to court. I'm going to see that he's allowed to go free on low bail. Free? 
But why? First, because I want to see if anyone shows up to help him get out of custody. I want to find out if he has any friends. And second, I want him free so that he can be followed. Before court opened the next morning, B-9 learned some facts about the man Adler. He confirmed the fact that he was an alien. He also learned that he was active in a party which claimed its activities were patriotic, but which actually sought to undermine the government and its leaders. It was nearly night before B-9 returned to his laboratory and talked again with Rita. Well, B-9, I expected you early in the afternoon. I know, Rita. It was nearly noon before I left the court, and I checked on the man who put up the bail for the man Adler. Then someone did put it up. Yes, Rita. The bail was supplied by the secretary of the party Adler belongs to. I'm more than ever convinced there's some connection. Now I want to make a microscopic examination of one of the bills. A microscope is all set up here. Uh, hand me one of the bills, please. Here's one. I'll do just this. Oh, I'll turn on the light. Better? Yes, just as Hargrave said. Who is Hargrave? A great expert on papers, Rita. I called on him this afternoon also. He told me how to recognize paper made in different countries. Of course, I may be wrong, but from what I see under the microscope, the paper in this bill was made in another country. Which one? The same one Mac Adler came from here. The country that sponsors his political party. One of the totalitarian states. Yes. I'll get it. I'm expecting a report from L6. Hello? Yes, this is B9. Oh, yes, L6. What? Adler killed? When? Yes, I see. We and I will come immediately. Yes, we're leaving now. Adler was killed? He was shot a few minutes ago, Rita. They wanted to make sure that he didn't talk. Come on. We're getting a cab at once. A few minutes later, B-9 arrived at the scene of the crime. He talked with a police lieutenant. Have you found out anything yet? Not much, sir. We found the gun near the body. Now, where is it now? I've got it. Wrapped in a handkerchief to keep the fingerprints. Here, uh, don't touch it. I don't need to touch it, Lieutenant. I merely want to see what make it is. Well, it must have been made in another country. It was. This gun was manufactured in the country of a man who was murdered. One thing more. Have you seen another special agent here since the shooting? No, there was no one here when we arrived. And I'll uh, see you later, Lieutenant. And when I do, I may have some information. B-9 knew that L-6 was following the man Max Adler and that he must have witnessed the murder. Knowing this, he returned to his laboratory and waited for L-6's report. Within an hour, he received a call. Hello? Oh, yes, L-6. Yes. Max Adler was shot from a car. You got the number? Yes. Yes, I've got the address. Go back to headquarters. I'll call you there if I need you. L-6 had succeeded not only in getting the license of the car, but in trailing it to the home of the man who was driving. Later that night, Agent B-9 and Rita approached the house in the darkness. There's a light in the side window, Rita. If we're lucky, we may be able to see who's in the room. You know who lives here? Yes, Rita. The net's closing in. The man who lives in this house is the head of the party Max Adler belonged to. K-7 was right. Consider the facts. The money is printed on paper manufactured in another country. Adler was from that country. The gun he was killed with came from there. And the man who lives in this house came from there, too. It all fits together, but it's not enough to make an arrest. No, parts of the jigsaw puzzle are still missing. We've got to find those missing parts. Keep your voice down. We're close to the house now. There's two men in there. Yes, I see them. Perhaps if we get closer, we can hear. We have nothing to fear. The police will not be able to question Max. But they will be watching for the counterfeit money more than ever. Oh, I am not passing it. Neither are you. The others don't even know who I am. Yeah, they know me. Perhaps you want to stop working for me? No, no, I did not mean that. I tell you, there is nothing to worry about. We have plenty of bills on hand. They are so good, even the banks are fooled by them. See, they are better than ever. Uh, the police will never suspect them. Fools, they will never even find them. Now, here are the bills you are to deliver tomorrow. Oh, this much? The party needs money. They are planning some new activities. Here, take them. 
Deliver them in the morning to the passage. Yeah, it is a big bundle. You have your car. Now, good night, my friend. I will see you tomorrow night. Quickly, Beth. We go around in front of the house. He's going to come out. Stay behind me. Will you arrest him? Yes. Then we'll go in and arrest Thurman. Now, here's the front. Get down behind this bush. He should be out in a minute. The light was just turned on in the hall. He's coming out. Keep down. Put up your hands. You're under arrest. No. No. B-9, he's running away. He fell, B-9. You hit him. Wait. Keep back until I look at him. Is he... Yes, he's dead. What is it? What has happened? Who is the man on the walk? I think you'll know him. He just left your house, Delman. No. No, you are wrong. I, I've never seen him. A, a burglar, maybe. It's no use, Delman. You know this man. You just handed him the package of counterfeit money that's lying beside him. Your fingerprints are on the package. I arrest you on the charge of passing counterfeit money and for the murder of Max Adler. Special Agent B-9 reporting, K-7. I've arrested Roxas Delman, a man responsible for the distribution of counterfeit money in this country. One of his confederates was killed resisting arrest. The entire counterfeit organization in this country has been rounded up as a result of the records found in Delman's home. Delman is held on the additional charge of murder. It is not unusual to find criminals linked with organizations and subversive parties whose objects are the overthrow of a government. Ill-gotten gains often help support these secret causes. To me, this is natural, for all men who would disrupt the course of a peaceful nation are criminals. Listen for my next story. This is K-7 speaking.